Hi, it's Mike Stevenson here. In today's video, we're going to have a look at um, some enhancements in Turbo 360 to help you understand a better visualization of your use of reservations. So here we're over on the tree view and I'm looking at my document 360 team. I'm in the optimization section up here. I'm in the reservation section within optimization and we're looking at advanced recommendations. Now, one of the features we built in Turbo 360 is the list down at the bottom here to try and help you understand which reservations are, uh, sorry, which resources are being picked up by reservations and where you may make some savings and where you may, um, you know, how you might be using these reservations already. Now, we do have a, a feature here to be able to view the reservations that you've currently got available. So here you can see I've got the list of reservations that I've currently got. And some of the things we've added, so over here in the grid, you get a, a simple view showing you what the utilisation of each of these reservations are. So 100% great, 50% not so good, red, we've got a bit of a problem here. Um, we want this utilisation level to be as high as possible. And if we've got one that's unused, we should be looking to get rid of it. If we've got one that's um, partially used, we should be looking at um, strategies for increasing the utilisation to make sure we're getting a return on the investment in that reservation. Just be aware when I mentioned the looking to get rid of it, there are some rules around cancellation of reservations that you'd be worth reading up about. Now... What I might want to do next is I might want to look at one of my reservations and see what's going on. So here we can see um, we've got the details of this reservation. This one's actually an app service plan. And actually with it being just a single quantity, I think I might go and get another reservation to show you if you bear with me for a moment. Okay, so this, this reservation's a better one to look at here. You can see we've got app service plan with a quantity for 18. Now, what you might notice here down at the bottom is we've got this new grid we've added showing each day um, how much of the um, how much of the reservations used by different applications each day. So we're going to have a little bit of a deeper look at this grid, but you can see I've got a couple of the app services shown here, the number of hours utilised, and if I um, if I scroll this grid here, I'm assuming there'll be a few more coming up. So you can see this is currently looking at the date for the 15th. And if I stretch this column, you'll see each of the plans that are using so many hours each day. Now, some of these plans are going to have more than one instance on them. So if we take this function app at the top here, you can see we've got 72 hours used for it, which probably means that there's going to be at least three, four, well, probably four plans um, running on that one. Now, what I can do is I might want to look at more than just the 15th. So here we can go back and choose a period of time. So let's see if I want to look since the start of the month. Now if I scroll down here, you'll see we get the amount of hours used each day going through to the start of the month, which we can page through here. So I can actually get some good, good views and utilisation of which of these plans are picking up how many hours each day of this resource. Now, what I might want to do is go and kind of do a little bit of um, digging deeper in this so I can download this as a um, as a spreadsheet and I can go and do my own additional um, analysis if I want to dig a bit deeper. But hopefully this gives you a really easy view. You know, we've got some of the tags here, the type. You can jump out to the Azure portal from here if you want to go and learn a bit more about a given resource. But hopefully this gives you a really easy way of getting a good view of the data of how you know what is actually using each of these reservations on a given day um so we've had some quite good feedback from customers on this when they're trying to you know understand a bit more about the usage of reservations and um, the other grid that we were shown just a second ago you can also download that here if you want to dig a bit deeper too thank you for listening to today's video and we hope you have a great week